Hey friends, so I wanted to do a tag video. I was tagged by Kirsten, Miss K all the way, and she tagged me in the New Year's tag. So I have all the questions. I was typing them as I was writing them down, and uh, I, was I was typing them as I was watching her video, because I kept thinking, oh, I wanna do that tag, that sounds fun. And then she tagged me, so that's super exciting. So yeah. And um, I don't know if this video will go up before my like random update video, but um, just a disclaimer, um, I am a little out of breath. Um, I just went to the bathroom and came back and um, I have uh, pneumonia, so I'm like very short of breath and I might like hack a little bit, but I'll try to edit it out if so. Um, but I do have a cup of water here, so forgive me if I stop for a water break because Man, this, I don't know if any of you have ever had pneumonia, but it like makes me feel like I just had the life sucked out of me. Like just going down the hallway to the bathroom and just walking back, I feel like I ran like six miles. So so anyways, uh, let's get started. Question number one. If you could look back at one memory to relive from the last year, what would it be? Hmm. Now, if you know anything about me, you know that this has been a pretty crappy year for my family and I. So I'm trying to think of like something good that happened that stands out to me that I'd love to relive. Um, I guess um, the first we took Caden to the beach for the very first time this year. And that was really exciting. Just taking him to Ocean City, um, Ocean City, Maryland. <laughs> Um, and just his face, like discovering new things and, and doing things for the first time, um, is, is what my life revolves around doing. Like I want to make him happy. I want, I want to see him experience new stuff. So I guess that day or just anytime he's experienced anything new this past year, um, and you may or may not know, but he just turned three on the 18th of December. So um, he's still little, but he, uh, yeah, he's still discovering things and he doesn't have a lot of firsts left. Um, but like this was his first Halloween, um, actually trick or treating. And he was super excited about that. And this past uh, week for Christmas, he was really, really into Santa Claus and super excited about him um, coming and, you know, bringing presents. So um, Christmas morning was really, really fun. So any, any of those kinds of moments I would happily relive. Number two, what was one new year's resolution that you accomplished? That's a tough one. And actually I believe I have my goals. I don't really call them resolutions. They're more like goals. I have a feeling I wrote them down in this book. So Let's see if I have them. New Year's goals. Oh, this is going to be embarrassing. Find a job. Check. Lose some weight. Check. Stay on a budget. Well, it was kind of hard since I didn't have any money coming in. So, though, no. Save some money. No. Maintain a clean home. <laughs> um baby number two Let's see complete painting for the house didn't happen we painted my um son's room that's it pay off credit card <laughs> we just doubled the credit cards um make a friend um and by that i meant like make a friend on the side of the of the bay bridge where we live um, which I mean I sort of did but not really go on a family vacation uh, become happier that's hard to say I feel like I am overall a happier person but a lot of has a lot of things have happened this year that kind of put me in like a state of depression so that's kind of hard to answer go to the beach check and start making plans to try to go to Disney World in 2016. Yeah, that never happened because we're broke. So, 
Um, I guess I would say I found a job. I lost some weight. <sighs> There's always next year, right? Let's see. Number three. Three words to describe the past year. All right, let me think really hard on this. Okay, guys. I'm going to try to not use bad language. I'll refrain from cursing. Um, stressful. Hard. And sad, stressful, hard, and sad. They're probably the three best words to describe this past year. Number four, something you are looking forward to this coming year. I am looking forward to just living the complete opposite of the year that I just lived. Um, less stress. I'm not going to say no stress because I am that kind of person. I stress about everything, but I'm pretty confident that there will be a lot less stress. Um, I'm just looking forward to like a new, like a new us, like a new, like I want to say a new life, but in a way it really is a new life because the way we're going to be living just with the whole dynamic of our family changing, with me getting a job and having a paycheck and stuff, like everything's going to change. And I'm looking forward to that because it's all going to go, it's all like going to change for the better. Like, I think we've overcome all of the bad things, which let me knock on wood because every time we ever say anything like, oh, it can't get worse, like it somehow does. Um, but yeah, I'm just looking forward to new beginnings, just starting fresh. Oops. Number five, what did last year teach you? The last year has taught me never to take anything for granted. Um, being able to have a credit card for an emergency, um, being able to go to Target because you're bored and just browse and maybe pick up a few random things for fun. Stuff like that I used to take for granted and just the simple pleasure of just being able to do that whenever you feel like it was kind of like taken from us this past year through nobody's fault but our own really. I mean, if you want to be technical about it, it's just not being able to do stuff like that is it, it was really like a depressing time because I would watch other YouTube families <clears throat> or just browsing Facebook and, you know, people going on date nights with their husbands or wives or uh, going to the movies with a friend or out for drinks like I I couldn't do that I we couldn't afford it I didn't have any money like that was not a thing that I could do um and so that was really it was a really hard pill for me to swallow but I think in a way I don't know if this is the right way to put it but it kind of like humbled me a little bit more because now I know that um not everything is guaranteed Anything can happen and you could be stripped of any luxury that you have. And um, yeah, I learned that this year. So long story short, don't take anything for granted. Number six, what was your most worn clothing item over the last year? I would have to say my most worn clothing item over the last year. Probably a pair of jeans that I actually just recently got rid of. <laughs> um, right before I started working, I decided I needed new jeans. I literally have the same pair of jeans. I'm wearing them in my son's first birthday photos, his like birthday party. I had those jeans since right after I had him because I had a c-section and like none of my pants fit me the way they did before I got pregnant and so I bought this one pair of jeans because I was so determined that I was going to fit back into my old jeans and um, I wore the hell out of those jeans pretty much anytime I wore pants 
like normal pants because at home when I did have a job I would wear like yoga pants and stuff but anytime we'd go out anywhere I would wear those jeans um and like I said I bought them shortly after I had Caden and he just turned three and I just got rid of them probably in like October because the inside where my thighs rubbed together was starting to rub and I'm so afraid that I was going to bust my pants in the in public so I went ahead and bought new pants new jeans thankfully but that was probably my most worn um clothing item over the last year over the last three years actually number seven hopefully you guys can see me sum up the last year in one word the last year in one word just tough it was really tough um, eight what are you hoping for more in the com what are you hoping for more of in the coming year happiness really honestly just more happiness and positivity in our home in my marriage um, in in life in general and number nine is what are you hoping for less of in the coming year? And I would say stress. Definitely hoping for less stress, which again, things are definitely looking up and changing, so that should not be a problem. Um, number 10, what is the best book you've read this year? I would have to say the Dave Ramsey book, Total Money Makeover. I've not actually put it into place quite yet, but it was very interesting and kind of like, um, uh, I don't know the word I'm looking for. It was kind of like a light bulb went off when I was reading it. Like, oh my God, that makes so much sense. Why haven't I been doing this before? Kind of, excuse me. It's It was just kind of one of those, kind of, it was like an epiphany. Like, oh my God, why haven't I been doing this? So um, I haven't really read much other than that, but that's probably the best one. And the last question is number 11. And what is your new year's resolution for 2016? And as I already stated, I don't really do resolutions. I do kind of like more goals, things I'd like to do. Um, and just off the top of my head, I haven't really actually written a list out, which I like to do. I did that list kind of like I did in this book. Um, I'll do it in my new planner. Um, but overall, I would like to hopefully hit my 100 pound mark. Um, so I have to lose a little over 70 pounds in the year. I'm not setting a specific date. Like I don't want to lose it by March or June or anything like that. But by this time next year, I would like to be able to say I lost a hundred pounds. The end. <laughs> um, so that's one like pretty big goal I have. Um, <clears throat> uh, let's see. Just like more financial freedom, being able to pay off some of our debt. I'm not... I'm not like crazy and I don't think we're going to pay off all of our debt. That would be amazing, but I know it takes time. And so I'm just um, excited to kind of get into it um, and chisel away at it. So paying off some of our debt would be great. Maybe eliminating at least one credit card um, or two credit cards would be really awesome for the year. Um, just being able to spend more time as a family, um, enjoy like some day trips. Like I said, we live right by the beach. And there's, we're like 35, 40 minutes away from the beach. And there's no reason why we shouldn't be able to take day trips. Um, and I'd really love to go away with my husband. Um, just trying to think of like what my goals were last year or for this year. Um, I don't know, just maintaining a happy night, a happy, healthy, cleaner home. Um, we're not like gross hoarders or anything like that but our house does get out of control sometimes but we have three cats and a dog and a toddler and us and so it would be nice to get on some sort of like I want to have like a meal plan a budget cleaning schedule like stuff like that I just want to become more organized and happy overall for the year of 2016 so yeah um hopefully that wasn't too long and I did have a couple coughing spells, so I'll be sure to edit those out for you guys. Hopefully that you didn't have to experience any of that. Um, yeah, thank you so much for tagging me, Kirsten. It was fun to share this. Hopefully it wasn't too depressing. I didn't really think about that when I was like excited to do it. 
Um, I wanted to do the Christmas tags too, but I just, I didn't have time and my, I was just kept trying to film on my phone and I did delete a lot of stuff from my phone for it to even allow me to do like a 10 minute video. Um, and it just didn't work out. So, but anyways, um, I'm not going to tag anybody in particular just because I'm not really sure who's left. I know a few people have already been tagged that I probably would have tagged by Kirsten. So if you want to do this video though, please do it and just let me know below that you've done it so I can watch because I like, I like videos like this. I was, I loved it when I was watching Kirsten's and Emily. So thank you all so much for watching. And if I don't talk to you, let's see, it's the 30th. So tomorrow is New Year's Eve. I don't know if I'll get another video out before then. So I hope all of you have a very safe and happy new year. Um, with loved ones and friends and family and just, uh, yeah, enjoy bringing in the new year. Uh, my husband works early the next morning, so we'll probably be in bed before midnight. Um, but you know, that's life. So anyways, thank you all for watching. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.